Hey guys, Heidi Easley here at Texas Art and Soul, and I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties. And I'm actually going to be spending just a few minutes with you showing you how to paint a stove cover. Now, let me know in the comments if you have ever painted a stove cover. This is actually my very, very first one, okay? I have never painted a stove cover before. I honestly didn't even know what it was until recently. So let me know in the comments if you um, know what a stove cover is and if this is your first, first stove cover painting as well. Okay, so I'm just using a little bit of this Van Dyke Brown. It's called a glaze effect from General Finishes. So go ahead and put, you know, if you want to type that in, so in case you need to see it. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, guys. Thank y'all for saying hi. I always love it when y'all say hi. Oh, and the message today is smile. Will y'all please smile even though I can't see you? <laughs> oh, a noodle board. That's the term I've heard before. I was like, I think there's like a, a term for it, but I wasn't sure for sure. Okay, I'm going to wipe this down a little bit. My dad actually made this for me, and so I've been meaning to paint it, and so Today I'm gonna paint it and actually put some sunflowers on here because we have been having a lot of fun with sunflowers lately. Hey guys, good to see y'all. And then I also wanna remind y'all, and we're gonna be using a stencil. So we have this stencil inside of um, Paint Party Headquarters so you can use it and trace it. And then we have all the marketing materials for a different thing like this. Hey Cheryl, hello, hello, hey Polly. Um, so we have everything for you. So those of y'all that are new to me, we are celebrating. This is a three-year anniversary of Paint Party Headquarters. So all week we have been celebrating and we have just been um, welcoming in hundreds of new members to teach you how to gear up and get ready for your fall paint parties. We are so excited. Oh, look at all y'all putting smile. Are y'all smiling? <laughs> so this is called a noodle board, I am finding out. Dottie says a dough board. How cool is that? So what I like to do when I use the general finishes is I like to grab the paint with a chip brush. I like to put it on there. Hey, Arlene. And I like to grab some water and just kind of go right on top of it. Because really, I just want to get this on here so that I can then put another color on it on top of that. All right, so we're gonna get this painted up and this is a pretty huge board. It'll cover an entire stove. Oh good, I'm glad you like this idea. I've really been wanting to do this for a while. So let me know in the comments if you're already in PPHQ, Paint Party Headquarters, if you are, do a hashtag so I can say hello. Hey Ella in PPHQ, do a hashtag so I can say hello. And then those of y'all that are joining, I'm gonna see you tonight at six o'clock in less than an hour. I want to, oh, Sammy, don't watch while driving. <laughs> don't watch me while driving. You can watch the replay, Sammy, it'll be fine. <laughs> and so for those of y'all that are joining, you should have got a link in your email. So search for the email for me, and then I'm gonna meet you face to face because I really want to get to know you more and get to know what your dreams kind of are and your goals for this next year, okay? All right, so this water is really dirty, as you can see. Let me see if I can point this down just a smidge without it falling, hold on. Hey, Karen. Oh, Pam joined Sunday. Hello, Pam. Welcome. We hope you are loving it already. We have so much fun stuff. Okay, so we have gift cards. Y'all know I love to give away some Starbucks gift cards. And I'm gonna pick a couple of people. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy, stop doing emojis. <laughs> Diana Lee, PPHQ. Diana Lee, if you will email support at texasartandsoul.com, I'm gonna give you a Starbucks gift card. You can have coffee on me. So I'll send you a $10 Starbucks gift card. So go ahead and email us, Diana, and we will send that to you. All right, so I'm adding all this on here. Man, this is a workout. This one is like, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big board because it's a whole freaking stove. So let me get this on here real quick. And then I want to talk to y'all about a few things and ask y'all some questions on where I should put these sunflowers, okay? I have an idea in my brain, but I was going to ask y'all, do you think I should put like one big sunflower? Remember, we're going to have the Simply Blessed on here somewhere. Or do you think I should do a couple of small sunflowers, okay? So let me know. 
Um, let's see, did you make a noodle board? Is that what you asked? <laughs> yeah, so it's a, a stove cover and I'm quickly finding out it is also called a noodle board. Noodle board, I did not know that. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know the term? Y'all, I am always learning. I will never be a person who's like, I have learned it all. I am a constant state of learning and today I've learned that the name of this is technically a noodle board. Why is that? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Jean, so this is a General Finishes Van Dyke Brown. I like this glaze effects because it dries really fast. It's not like a glaze. So I can actually use this at my paint parties, okay? Um, so it's not like a glaze that's gonna be, that where they gotta sit, have it sit overnight. None of that stuff. It happens really fast. And you're gonna see a, a tip I'm gonna do here in just a second as well, okay? And then also I want y'all to um, remember, when is the last day to sign up for Paint Party Headquarters? Pop quiz, for those of y'all that have been hanging out with me. <laughs> Pop quiz. Oh, that's funny, um, her brother made her one. Sue said her brother made one, but he's holding it hostage till she comes in and um, visits him. That's funny, you have to go pick it up to get it. Um, yeah, then you get a good visit with your brother. Okay, so let me know if you know when the doors close to Paint Party Headquarters because we have just a couple of days left. And then you're not gonna hear me talk about this next week because we're not gonna open the doors again till September, September. So those of y'all that have been watching, you've been watching the Sunflower, maybe you did the Paint and Business Boot Camp, and you've been thinking like, I really wanna try this. This is your time because we are going to be sharing so much to get you ready for your fall parties. I am so, so excited. All right, let's see. Thursday, Debbie, winner, winner there. Yes, you got the date right, Thursday at midnight. Okay, so I got this on here. I'm gonna take a paper towel, all right? Just a paper towel. Oh, is that the reason? Because you put noodles on it? Let's see, Brenda says, because in the olden days they didn't have much counter space, so they put noodle boards on the stove to roll out noodles. Oh, so people would like hand make their noodles. Y'all don't laugh at me, but I didn't know until a few years ago that you could actually like make noodles. <laughs> I thought the only way to get noodles was to buy them. Oh my gosh, y'all, I am really bad at cooking and all things cooking, so please don't judge um, too harshly because it's just not my passion. Um, I wish it was because then I wouldn't eat so many frozen dinners, but it really is not my passion. I would much rather spend my time, you know, just creating and painting and all of that. But I know the people that are out there, I know you that are like really great at cooking. Oh, I so wish you could live with me because I would love it. Okay, so look what I just did. I wiped most of that off. So this glaze effect now, well, I just put my hand prints, hold on, is pretty much dry. It's almost dry, okay? So I'm gonna just let it sit for just a second while I get my colors ready. And I just wanna remind y'all about Paint Party Headquarters. Here's the thing, you do not have to be the best painter in the world. As you see right now, I'm about to show you very simple steps to do that. Oh, Kimberly, can you move in with me, please? <laughs> I would love somebody who can cook and bake. That would be amazing. Um, but here's the thing, you don't have to be the best teacher. You don't have to be um, this really, you know, um, it's not about fine art, it's about, it's about um, fun art. And remember y'all, we have been doing a lot of canvas, but in Paint Party Headquarters, I teach you not only canvas, I teach you wood projects, and I also teach you ceramic projects. But there are people, like we had somebody today ask, she said, can I use your paintings to do as wreath attachments for my wreath business? And I was like, yes, that is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, of course. Like, you know, Paint Party Headquarters is set up so that you can grab and go and make money for your business. So, of course, I would love, love, love for you to be able to do that. Okay, so what did we decide on? Did we decide on just one big sunflower or a couple? Let us know in the comments, okay? And I'm gonna be painting pretty fast, so let me know if you think I should do two or three or just one really big one in the middle. Okay, let me know what y'all think.
Oh my gosh, Tracy just got her first party tomorrow. Let's congratulate. Let's congratulate Tracy. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a big one right over here. Let me start over here, because I am so excited to meet a bunch of the new members, which will happen here in just a few minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna meet some of y'all. So those of you that are joining, and you can join right now, we have the link for you to join, or you can text it, and it's pinned, it should be pinned to the top. Um, you're going to be able to join right now, and then I'm going to see you at 6 o'clock so we can get to know each other a little bit more and kind of get you started on this paint party adventure. Okay, so all I did was I started with a big circle, okay? Aw, everybody's congratulating you. That's amazing. Tracy, I'm so proud of you. Doesn't it feel good? I mean, I know you're nervous. I mean, that's just a, that's a normal response, but doesn't it, like get exciting like oh my gosh this is really happening you know how cool is that okay so i'm going to grab this just bring it out and because i have the hardware on there first i'm going to have to be a little careful with that and then i'm just going to fill these in now we can get as crazy and creative as we want and let us know in the comments if you have already booked a paint party before let me know in the comments if you have and then I also want to know if you are thinking about doing a paint party, but you haven't done it yet, let me know that as well. If you're like, yes, this is something I'm excited about, um, but I haven't got to that step yet. Because I know a lot of you have been using my magic script over the past couple of weeks and are booking your parties. And I just want to say congratulations. That is so cool that you're taking action even though you're scared, that's part of it. <laughs> yeah, this is a brown stain, it's called a glaze effects. So for all of y'all that are jumping on, if y'all can type this, because I know we've had a lot of people asking, it's called general, if y'all don't mind typing this, it said it's general finishes glaze effect, and I'm using Van Dyke Brown. That way people that are watching the replay, y'all can um, easily see in the comments what it's called. And this is a, Noodle table, noodle holder, noodle stand, stove top. I don't know what it was called, y'all. Noodle, noodle something. Oh, Melissa's gonna do a paint party soon. Very great. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And I'm just gonna fill this in real quick with some of this yellow. I'm using a um, primary yellow and a jack-o'-lantern orange. And I'm just going to fill this in, and then I'm going to get some shading in here with it. So let me know in the comments if you've done a party. Let's see. Um, Leslie says, I had a paint party. Um, hold on. Let's see. Dottie says, one in three weeks. Congratulations. Catherine says, I'm in PPHQ and now just got the guts to book my first one. <gasps> Congratulations. Leslie says, I did a paint party at a winery um, last week. And another book for two weeks time. How cool. So all of y'all that are booking these parties. Oh, a noodle board. Thank you. <laughs> um, all of y'all that are booking these parties, your next stage is we have that inside of Paint Party Headquarters. Your next stage is us helping you with um, training. And it's called getting butts in the seat. Because booking a paint party is different than marketing your paint party to get butts in the seat. To get prepaid painters is what I, what, what I teach you so that you can um, have a profit every party. So if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, when you go into the, the website or the Facebook group, you can search butts in the seat. <laughs> and we actually have a training that teaches you how to get butts in the seat. And we have all the marketing that you need. So like this, um, this one we have for like a couple of different things, but we already have everything ready for you the flyers that go with it, the step-by-step -step instructions, everything that you need to immediately start doing your paint party. And that's what I love so much about um, helping y'all in paint party headquarters. Mm. I got some really good tea with some honey in it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, let me finish this little flower and then I'll see if there's any more questions while I'm painting this. And this is really just a fun, fun, easy painting. Y'all saw I just did a circle 
and just adding in some of these colors, okay? Whenever you do this, you can let it dry a little bit and it just kind of goes on there. You can let it dry and then you can easily add some extra. So I'm gonna grab some of this brown and just kind of go into the circle, okay? Nothing major, maybe I'll add another little hints of brown and then I'm gonna use some gold and black for the centers. All right, let me rinse that brush. Ooh, does somebody have a noodle board workshop? How fun is that? So cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, and all of y'all that joined today, and then if you joined yesterday or the day before and you didn't get a um, be a part of the meeting, um, I want to meet you in person, so I'll see you tonight at six o'clock central. Um, it'll be in your email. We'll also send you an email and um, for any of you who have joined in the last few days, you'll get an email with a link to Zoom so I can meet you in person. Okay, so we have our, our sunflower here. I'm gonna add a, a few little extra lines coming out here. Let me grab some more yellow. Hold on. And a little bit more orange. Give me one second. <laughs> and those of y'all that are having events, let us know. Like, do you already have prepays or are you needing help getting butts in the seat because like I said those trainings are going to help you right away all right so I'm just going to add in a little bit of these extra right in here I'm in my concentrated painting concentrated painting making sure I get the little extras on there <laughs> so fun and I don't know about y'all, but like painting like this just makes me so happy. When I can just paint big, free flowing flowers and, and you know, yes, we have stencils for everything, but those of y'all that are painters and you're kind of used to doing this, um, isn't it just so, like, let me know in the comments if you find that, that painting is just relaxing and healing. Like, you know, I know I, I really struggle with anxiety a lot. I've talked about that openly. Like I really struggle with a, a lot of anxiety. And so when I have a paintbrush in my hand, it just seems to go away, you know? And I don't know if it's just, you know, God's gift to, to me. Like this is a great way you can deal with your anxiety. But um, I've noticed at my paint parties, you know, I'll have people come in. Like one time I had a lady who um, I didn't know until almost the end of the event. But she was painting, we were painting Starry Night, and um, she was painting and she was having a blast, and she was doing a really great job, and she just kept saying, I love this, oh my gosh, I love this, like I so needed this night, I love this, and I just got to know her and kept talking to her more and more, and, um, and I found out she had, um, she had been diagnosed with cancer, and she, um, at that time, you know, she, had, she hadn't even told her family, it was like a new, like a very, very new diagnosis, and, um, and she goes, yeah, this happened. And she goes, and I just, I just needed a break. Like I needed a break from, from thinking about that and just her being there and hanging out and painting with us, like gave her that break. So, um, I know, you know, not all of us have that extreme case, but I know for me, just the anxiety of being able to go, you know, grab a paintbrush and just paint has been so, so beneficial. Um, and I know a lot of um, a lot of y'all joining Paint Party Headquarters, I've heard some of y'all say, well, I'm brand new at painting. You know, we have so, um, so many people that are, you know, on every stage. We have, oh, thank you, Kelly. That's so sweet. Yeah, Crystal says painting is so relaxing. Maybe not when I'm shaking this at y'all's camera. <laughs> Let me shake it down here. Um, painting is so relaxing. And, and I think sometimes too, we, we, like discredit what stage we're on and we think well we're not as good as this person we're not as good as that person but here's the thing like you're going to get better you know painting you know years ago I was with a a lady I was in my early 20s and she was showing me some of her artwork and she had to have been in her 60s and um and I said oh my gosh you are so good oh my gosh you are so good and, um, and she goes, yeah, but just think how good you're going to be when you're my age if you keep practicing. And at that point in my life, I never thought like, 
oh, I could get better. Like I just thought what I, you know, what I, what talent I have right now is all I'll have. And that is so not true. Oh my gosh, so not true. And um, let me grab a little black. And um, that is so not true because you're going to get better. You're going to get better as you're doing this. And um, oh, also for those of y'all that are booking paint parties, um, when you come into Paint Party Headquarters, I want to remind you, there is a full training on how to do door prizes, how to do social media so you get people interested in, oh, thank you for the stars, so you get people interested in coming back to your party. So many cool tips like that. So I know sometimes it can be overwhelming, like there's so much to do, but remember, just book the party and then we'll help you with the next step. Do the next step, then we'll help you with the next step. So there's so many, many things like that that we can help you with. And we are very, very excited to help you. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this and just kinda, kinda messily with some black paint, add this here. And then I wanna outline this just a smidge, not, a mu not much, but just a little bit. And then I want to add just a few little dots into the center. And again, this is just going to be a very, very simple sunflower. For those of y'all that painted the sunflower, a couple of, um, yeah, definitely, definitely door prizes. We have some great advice on how to, um, how to do door prizes where you can um, collect emails and fun stuff like that to help advertise for your future parties, right? Because you're... You're going to be building a, a customer base. Um, okay, so we have that on there. Let me go ahead and add a little bit of black into here. All right. Just some little blobs in here. Oops. Okay, so I made a mistake. I just rubbed it in. <laughs> when you make a mistake, just rub it in. It's fine. <laughs> it's no big deal. Hey, Lynette. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate y'all watching. And go ahead and let me know what is going on tonight. Is it a you know, beautiful day at your home? We have had so much rain. Oh, my gosh. We've had flooding like crazy. I'm like so ready for some summer. <laughs> I keep painting so many things. Tracy says, yes, I need door prize ideas. Tracy, did you join P PPHQ? Um, we have a whole training just on door prizes. It is so, so cool. Um, let's see, Priscilla. Oh, good, Priscilla. You got your Archon. Yeah. And um, we have a training too on what supply, like what you need for starting if you're going to do online paint parties. That's the really cool thing is we, we kind of have you covered um, any and every way we can possible. We really want you to um, have as much success as possible. Okay, so I'm using the back of this brush to do some dots. I love that sound. Can y'all hear it? Can you hear it? <laughs> So fun. Oh, Judy, where's the training on door prizes? So when you go into Paint Party Headquarters, you can search it and just put door prizes and it'll come up. If you can't find it, we have a whole team that is there helping you find stuff. So if you search it and you can't find the training, just go, um, hey, PPHQ team, can y'all help me find the door prize training and we'll help you find it. I love that so much. I don't know why that is so fun to do. Okay, and then you can also do it with gold. And this is where you can really just go crazy. You can just dot. I've had people at my paint parties literally like dot so much. It was so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I'm gonna do a few little black dots and then I wanna add the stencil for y'all as well. Kinda show you how that process is gonna work. And sometimes on the edging, I like to just get it really messy. I can probably do this with this brush, a six round. I like to just grab some black and almost like 
make the circle a little messy, okay? So I'm just gonna make it messy. Okay, so we have it a little bit messy there, and then I'm gonna take this and add just a little bit of the brown with the yellow and the orange and just kind of give it some, some lines coming out. All right, and those of y'all that are just joining, we have Paint Party Headquarters open for just a couple more days. That's it, a couple more days. And then we don't open the doors until um, until September. So if you are interested, I'm gonna be meeting with all of our new, new Paint Party Headquarters people here in just a, about 30 minutes. So at 6 p.m. Central, I'm gonna be meeting with y'all. So if you wanna join, go ahead and join and you'll get an email that has the um the link for where we can uh, meet via zoom so i'm going to put this simply blessed about right here i'm kind of okay let me know what you think should i paint a little bit of greenish on top of this or maybe add green to the leaves like i was thinking either green leaves or like the whole board green what do y'all think i don't know which one i should do so green leaves are the board green on top of the wood. If you love the wood, just put, you know, leave the wood. And then I'll know for sure <laughs> that you do not want me to mess with the wood. Oh, where do you get the stencil? So in Paint Party Headquarters, when you find this design, which we have, you'll have a um, stencil that you can print out and use oh blue green leaves that looks good and leave the wood okay green leaves you got it okay sounds good i'm going to use some stencil brushes here all right now the trick with stencils is getting paint on there but getting a most of it off and then coming back to it okay so i'm going to use some white paint and Sounds like most people say, don't mess with the wood. You got it. <laughs> I will not mess with the wood. I was thinking like maybe of covering a bit, but yeah, I think, I think y'all are right. I think it'll look good. So I'm going to grab it like this and then I'm going to take most of it off. Okay. So let me point this down a little bit. Hopefully I won't drop y'all. Let me try something real quick. Okay. Is that better? So I'm gonna grab the, the, the paint and then I'm gonna take most of it off, okay? Now that most of it's off, I can go in here, just kind of get it centered where I want it. And then I'm just gonna dab on top. This is another very therapeutic, <laughs> very therapeutic thing. So dab most of it off. And then while I'm doing this, because this is going to take me just a minute, what I want y'all to do, if you don't mind, is I would love for y'all to put in the comments, oh, hello, Felicia, I'm so happy you're in PPHQ, welcome. Um, I want y'all to put in the comments what your big goal is with Paint Party Headquarters this year. Like, what's your dream? Like, do you want to do one paint party a month? Do you want to just get better at painting? Do you want to start selling art kits? Like, let me know in the comments because I want to go back and read these. What is the thing that is making you excited about this year? Because here's the thing I've noticed about, about you know, making a plan. And, um, you know, a dream is just a plan, right? The dream is just a plan. So I know for me, there was a lot of, a lot of years where, you know, I wanted to be an art teacher since I was 14. I became that art teacher, and then it was like a, this struggle of like, you know, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something else. Anybody ever have that like feeling in your gut? Like, y'all, I have tried to push that feeling down. It does not go away. <laughs> and so I know that like, you know, you're sitting there and you may think, oh, I really want to do this or I really want to do that. But then that fear can creep in of, well, who am I to do this? Like, I'm not good enough for this. Or 
who's going to come to my paint party? Or, you know, I tried that, you know, that one time and it didn't work. Y'all, I want you to know that, that it is okay, that that is totally normal. And it, it will come, that, that fear will come back again. Um, but you always have to keep reminding yourself and, and surround yourself with people who are going to encourage you because that's what's going to make all the difference is whenever you go, okay, breathe, you know, take a, take a breath, know that it's going to be okay. And then try again, try again. You know, persistence is, is one of the key elements in success, especially, um, you know, in any business, but especially when you're doing your art and stuff like that. Okay, so I just pulled this up. We have this tracer inside of Paint Party Headquarters, so you can grab it and use it. Um, you know, you can print it and just use it as a um, carbon copy if you just want to trace over it. And then let me go ahead and add a few, um, few colors of the green leaves. And can anybody let me know what time it is? Because I have the, the meeting with all of you that have just joined, and I don't want to be late. So if you are... Um, brand new and you are joining that meeting, let me know. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to read all of these dreams. Crystal says, my dream is to get better at painting. I would like to do a party once a week or maybe two a month. I have a party book for June. Oh my gosh, congratulations. That is so awesome. Okay, so if anybody has the time, if you'll let me know, I'm gonna add some green, some kind of fun big green leaves here. Okay, I'm actually going to oversize them. I'm going to oversize them so it's a little bit crazy. Oh my gosh, and I hope you are reading each other's dreams too. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Oh good, I got, I got plenty of time. It's 538. I can add a few leaves. <laughs> and remember, y'all that are jumping on here, as you see other people writing their dreams, Make sure you give them a like or a heart, you know. I know a lot of times in this world, there's not really a lot of, a lot of um, validation or placement on what people really want out of life. And I was talking to some of the new members last night and just hearing what they, what they want to have happen. Like, you know, one girl was talking about something really cool that she wants to have happen. And her face, like as soon as she started talking about it, like lit up. It was so, so cool to see. So I want you to remember that, um, that you know, once you like say it and then you can start to, um, so sorry, I'm painting and you can't even see it. <laughs> once you start say it and then you start to like make a plan towards it. And um, a lot of times these dreams that we think will never happen actually start to become a reality. Um, and, you know, it's insane how you're like, oh, you know, maybe it doesn't happen in two weeks. But if you start to look at it, you know, what could happen in six months? What could happen in a year? What could happen in five years? You know, Tony Robbins talks about how we, we overestimate what we can do in a year. But we underestimate what we can do in a decade. And we're all going to age. We're all going to be 10 years older. Like, why not be doing what we want to do in 10 years instead of just going, eh, can't do it. That's not going to work for me. And then all of a sudden realizing like, wait, that time's going to pass regardless. Why don't I just take a chance and try? Because I always say this paint party adventure, you never know what it's going to lead to. You don't know what, you know, new friendships it'll lead to. You don't know what new connections it'll lead to. You don't know if, what new opportunities it's going to lead to. But half the battle is, is getting yourself out there and figuring it out and knowing what you want. So I am so, so excited. I can't wait to meet the new members here in just a few minutes and, and listen to what their dreams are because it inspires me. You know, I get excited thinking like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. That would be so fun. You know, I get so excited because I just want to cheer you on. And I'm going to add one more leaf on here. One more leaf. It's going to be a little weird because it's going to not have much, but we'll just kind of place it over here. And then I want to add just a couple of highlight lines because I got to. I got to. I'm just going to get this liner brush with some white. 
liner with this white. And add it on here. And then all of y'all that are still on the fence about joining Paint Party Headquarters, I just want to tell you, I am excited for you. You can cancel at any time. So if you're if you come in and you're you're um, not sure and you're like I want to see what this is about, just you know we want you to just give it a give it a few months to to give yourself a chance. You know it's it's kind of like if you join a, a you know a different a new thing you're learning, right? It, it takes a little time to to get acclimated. But what I want you to do is is really just take that time and learn and grow and connect. And we have a bunch of accountability groups where you can get to meet other people. So if you're, you're really wanting to do kits or you're really wanting to do online paint parties, you're going to meet other people that are doing that very, very successfully. And you're also going to meet other people that are just now getting started. So you're going to be able to collaborate and talk and, and meet and, you know, all these great things. So it's going to be like a whole, almost like a whole support. It's like a paint party support system. <laughs> it's pretty amazing what has happened. And um, We've had so many Paint Party Headquarter members like meet up for coffee and, and just to get to know each other. And I think that's pretty powerful when you can um, support each other like that. You know, a lot of people are, are um, don't have that support. And so when you have some somebody there that knows what you're doing, knows what you're, you're going for, and knows exactly what you're thinking about, that's something that's really going to help you. Oh my gosh, I have made a mess. <laughs> okay, what do y'all think of my noodle board? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think of the noodle board. So this I will put on my stove. Isn't that cool? So you just put it on your stove and apparently you make homemade noodles, which I will not be doing. Will not be doing that. <laughs> but I might put it on my stove because I love it. All right, guys, let me know what you think. And again, I just want to say... For those of y'all that are brand new and you're joining Paint Party Headquarters, um, check the link because I'm going to be, you can text JOIN to that word, um, text JOIN to, not to that word, text JOIN to that number, and then I'm going to be um, meeting with you in here in about 15 minutes. Um, so go ahead and grab that um, link so that I can meet you face to face. I would love to and finish drinking my tea with you and get to know you a little bit more and get you on the right track. And I really want to get you geared up and ready for fall parties. So here again, this is my new noodle board. And um, like I said, I have never done this before. This is a brand new um, kind of project variation from what we already have for y'all inside of Paint Party Headquarters. And yes, it, I think it does need a few little vines. I might add those on before I do some pictures. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great day and I will see y'all soon. And all of y'all that are joining, you have um, two days. You have two days to make a choice. I would love to keep um, teaching you and mentoring you. So make sure you click the link. And this is the last time. Um, oh, thank you, Rosanna. Um, this is the last time we will have it at this price, okay? So for those of y'all that are joined, and joining, you know, you won't have to ever worry about the price going up. Oh, thank you, Carol. Y'all are so sweet. I'm so glad y'all like it. Yeah, my dad, my dad actually um, made the wood part and put this together, and then um, I painted it. So it's like a, a dad-daughter project. <laughs> all right, I'll see y'all soon. And for all you um, that are joining, I'll see you here in just a minute.